Hello, everybody, and welcome to Anecdotal Inquiry, the podcast where me and my friends get together and talk about whatever the frick we want. So, without further ado, roll the intro. We don't have an intro, we don't have an intro, but maybe one day we will. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Anecdotal Inquiry. This is episode two, and uh, I'm here with my good buddy, Vincent. Hello, Vincent. How are you? Hi. Hi. I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing swell. Just oh so swell. Swell. Yes. Swell as well. Yes. Very much so. So, Mr. Uh, Vincent, uh... Well, what would you like to talk about? I don't know. What yeah. do you want to talk about? I don't know. I'm up for whatever. I mean, I got my lovely Arizona um, strawberry kiwi flavor. Strawberry kiwi? No way. Yeah. Actually, as I've come to recently know or learn, as of like a month or so ago, nothing actually says strawberry kiwi. It's always kiwi strawberry, and I've just been saying it wrong for my entire life. I I swear it used to be strawberry kiwi. No, like, everything has always said kiwi strawberry, and I've always said strawberry kiwi. And then Aiden got mad at me. I've always said strawberry kiwi. Of course Aiden got mad at you. He gets mad at anyone who does anything that is not his way. That is true. That is very true. So, Vinny, tell me, what games have you been into as of late? As of recently, I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter World. Yes, yes. And um, right now, I'm playing Madden 20. Ah, you are doing a draft, as they say. Or a fantasy draft, yes. I did a fantasy draft at the beginning of the season. So I have a 90 overall team. And cool. I'm doing franchise mode. That's that's cool. So I got to like manage the team and everything. While playing the actual game and yeah, it's fun. Interesting. So, with this uh, monster hunter, I've yes. heard it's a lot like Dauntless. Would you would you say that's the case? Yes, it's like a more detailed and a more complicated version of Dauntless, but it is also a lot funner. Mm. But it's not free. That's the kicker. Yeah. Yeah, but they put a lot of time into Monster Hunter. All the um, animals have are really detailed. The animations are really nice and smooth. Um, the facial animations, however, are terrible. Yeah. But um, it's a really it's a really fun game. I've been enjoying it. Um, the Iceborne uh, DLC like extends the game a lot and adds more monsters, which is nice. Has a cool. very cool storyline too. Cool, cool. Now, yeah. I've never played, but I think my favorite part of the game would be the fact that you can throw poop. You can, yes, you can throw poop at monsters and they run away. You that like is beautiful. You you fucking you torment the shit out of them by throwing poop out of them, scarring them for life. You know. That's perfect. I wouldn't have it be any other way. You embarrass the hell out of them to a point where they die of depression. Ah, I see. Now, I've heard that there is some strategy to this game. Uh, I think my favorite strategy so far is you guys were talking about waiting for the whatever it was to fall asleep, placing bombs around its head, and having (laughs) someone charge and attack from behind, and then having it go off all the way and just obliterating it. Yeah, it... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's a really fun strategy because um so the monster will run away and try to like recuperate re um get more health so it'll yeah. fall asleep and if you follow it and it's asleep you can you can put bombs all around its head and its head's like critical point mm-hmm. so it does way more damage and if you get like the really big bombs you get someone with like a great sword or something mm-hmm uh, the great sword is like the most damaging weapon in the game. So you get someone with a great sword, you have them charge up and attack, and then you hit the head where all the bombs are at. So it does like 
800 damage. And that's a lot. On average, um, people do uh, like around 20 something damage on a critical hit. Mm. But doing 800 is far superior. Oh, yeah. 800's like. Uh, it could insta. Nah, I wouldn't say it would insta kill most monsters. Most monsters have above, um, like a thousand health. Yes. Ignore the card shuffling sound. I see. Now, alright, so the game sounds like a load of fun. Um, well, doing anything interesting lately? Uh, like, I know that, are you still in college or whatever it was that you were doing? You're Online in college, yeah, I've been doing that a lot. Cool, cool. And then you're now working as a pumpkin farmer? Yeah, I'm a motherfucking pumpkin farmer. I see. It's awesome. Cause I, I I harvest and do pumpkins. Nice. That is a, an important job. More so around Halloween, but. Yeah, we're also building a haunted house right now because we uh, they always do like a festival every year. Ah, uh, I will have yeah. to come to your haunted house. Yeah, you know the um, Castle of Chaos. Uh, I've heard of it. Yes. The guy who built that is building our haunted house. Mmm. I see. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. He's a really nice guy. It's like if Santa was into like was a gothic Santa. Mmm. Like Who's into imagine. horror and shit? I'd like to imagine that Santa is goth. He's a really funny guy, but it's funny to see him when he's talking about having a bathtub full of baby heads and blood. Ah. Sounds like fun. It really throws off the persona. <laughs> Is he a nice dude? He's a really nice dude. But... <laughs> That's good. As long as he's a nice dude. Holding offense. Dude, at the game on Friday, they would not call holding. Like, on anyone but us. They would not call holding on the other team. I think they called one holding call on Summon Academy. That is bullshit. Yeah. <clears throat> I know Summit loves to hold. Oh, yeah. No, that that was... They're like... Basically, their whole ideology was... Uh, if you're not getting in trouble for it, uh, then it's... Then who cares? Just keep doing it. So. Yeah, I never really liked <laughs> Summit Academy because they illegally scout for players, which is illegal in Utah. Scouting for players is illegal? Uh, in high school football, yeah. Huh. I didn't know that. Yeah, and uh, Summit does it. I know Bingham does it. Um, I know... I don't think Riverton does it, but I know that... Um, uh, what's the team called? Um, I think it's Alpine. I know they do it. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's, that's illegal in Utah. <laughs> well, uh, not recently, but kind of recently in the grand scheme of things, we got in, or I got you into Overwatch a little bit. Yes. Uh, what do you think of the game? Bastion mains are ass. Yeah. Remember when you were a Bastion main for the first week? Yeah, remember when I got play of the game as a Bastion main? It's not that hard. <laughs> it's really not. They should nerf Bastion. And yes May. And no. I don't like well, May. I think they should nerf Bastion to make it so he does a little bit less damage. Just a little bit, though. Like, one or two points less. Yeah. But... Maybe, he he maybe literally just, just drains everyone of their life. Yeah. I think they, they should keep his damage to shields the same, but have the damage to players be lessened. Because the point of running yeah. Bastion is to keep or is to keep your opponent from running a good shield combo. So yeah. you run Bastion to keep So that point that's fine. But I the it Bastion if you if a Bastion sees you, you're pretty much dead. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's so true, though. <laughs> I've recently, uh, instead of uh, maining like Orisa and stuff like I was when I was playing tank, my new tank main is Roadhog, and I've gotten pretty good at Roadhog. I heard they nerfed, uh, didn't nerf, but buffed the hell out of Roadhog. They, they gave him like. Um, yeah. they kind of changed him a little bit to where, to where he used to be, but, um, he's not nearly to where he used to be, but he's more so towards, he's, he's more so over there, but yeah, they did buff him. What I, who I was sad that got nerfed literally the day after I started liking her was Bridget. Yeah, I heard Bridget got nerfed a lot. Yes. Like, now she doesn't do as much damage. No, but they did buff her self-healing. Huh. Which... That, isn't she a nerf, support? Yeah, yeah. If you nerf her damage, she can't self-heal as much or heal in general as much. So when you nerf her group healing and her damage, but buff her self-healing, that does nothing! It really does You made doesn't. her unplayable! Anyway, um... Well, yeah. I would really like to get back into League of Legends, but no one wants to play with me anymore. And the people Big that rip. do are busy. <laughs> Big whip. Yes, yes. Um, Ripperoni. So you just started your YouTube channel about a month ago? How's that going? Yeah, I've only posted two videos and then I, like, stopped. Yeah. Yeah. I was well aware. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a I got a lot of shit I always do. And then yeah. when I'm not doing shit, I'm always hanging out with you guys. Yeah, so see like, see that's that's where I that's where I take advantage of hanging out with y'all. Because while y'all are talking, y'all say some pretty dumb stuff and so I can just sit here and play a video game and just listen to you guys as I play. <laughs> Like, like half my Pokemon videos have you guys talking in the background about whatever video game it was that you were playing at the time. It's funny, last night, um, me and Aiden were having a conversation, and we're talking about the rule of three, and we're like, Aiden's like, you can't uh, live without food for 14 days. I'm like, I thought it was 10. And then Shane was like, I thought it was three weeks because of the rule of three. And then Aiden's like, oh, yeah, Vinny, you're a retard. I'm like, um, abiding by your own logic, you too are a retard. He's like, <laughs> no, not that a retard. <laughs> he got mad at Yeah. It was funny. Yeah, that is an Aiden thing to do. Um, wait, I thought you couldn't go without water for... So it's, like three um, days, and then you couldn't three days go without, without water, food th for like a week. No, or maybe it's so two it's, weeks. So um, it's three minutes without air, three minute, three days without water, and three weeks without food. That's it's called the rule of three. I would not like to live without food for three weeks. Did you know there's this guy who lived without food for an entire year and only shit once during that time? Didn't, uh, who's the religious Indian dude that, like, was around when Martin Luther King Jr. was around? The Gandhi? Like, Indian dude, yeah, Gandhi. Didn't he, like, fast for, like, like, almost a year? And, like, almost died? I don't know. He fasted for a really long time. I bet I could Google it, but... Alexa. How long or how long was Play Gandhi's Despacito longest? Two. How long was Gandhi's longest fast? Alexa, how long was uh. Gandhi's longest fast? According to an Alexa answer contributor, Mahatma Gandhi, considered the father of the nation in India, undertook 17 fasts during India's freedom movement. His longest fast lasted 21 days. Fasting was used by Gandhi as part of his philosophy of non-violence. Did that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Thanks for your feedback. Okay, so as long as fast was 21 days. Alright, alright. Sure That's that. three weeks. Go to sleep. Would've... Anyway, what? I would have killed normal man. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> 
Yeah, because I think that they said that his longest fast brought him to the brink of death. Yeah, I would assume so, because three weeks without yeah. food kind of does that to you. Yeah. Wasn't it Fucking Jesus AG? who fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, or was that something else that Jesus did? Who? Jesus. You know, I, son of I'm God. not religious, so I wouldn't really know. Alexa, did Jesus fast for 40 days and 40 nights? Here's something I found from the article left on Wikipedia. In Lent, many Christians commit to fasting. That's not what I asked. Alexa, shut up. Hey, I do the same thing to my Alexa. Uh, no, the worst. So my sister would set alarms on her Alexa, but then she moved oh, her the Alexa Al- to my brother's phone. The and Alexa so, alarm is so annoying. Yeah, yeah, my sister brought her Alexa to my brother's room, forgot to turn off the alarms. And so every day for like like, th- like two or three weeks, I would get woken up at 5 a.m. from the loudest alarm in the entire world coming from my brother's room. Like, my sister sets her alarms so loud that it sounds like they're going off next to my head at max volume. Yeah. I don't know how she does that and doesn't wake up. Anywho, so I would have to go into my brother's room and be like, shut up. And then it would be quiet. And then eventually, I just found that all you had to say is cancel all alarms, and then you're good. Alexa, play Death Pathado 2. <laughs> this is so sad. Oh, can we get a thousand likes? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, my best wide receiver is trash. Uh-huh. <laughs> Who's your. Is he is, like, he's CB? AJ Green. Oh, look, he caught something and then juked the fuck out of someone. Is he like uh, Connor Tanner or Connor Barlow? <laughs> A uh, little bit. they good at the game. <laughs> they say they're good, but they're not actually good. Yeah. You know who is actually good is Wyatt Barlow and, and uh, Jacob Walsh. Yeah. By the Wyatt way, Barlow's if you guys are listening amazing. to uh, the podcast, those aren't NFL players. Those are high school players that I know, that me and Vinny know. Yeah, Walsh and Wyatt are very talented. I bent one of my tarot cards. Oh, my tarot cards have been bent. What are we going to do? I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, Vinny, you recently gotten into the computer building side yes. of the PC Master Race, and I've been wanting to do that for a while. I mean, I've built PCs for other people, but I've never built one for myself because I don't have the money. But I found it very fun to just it go on a PC fun. part builder and just build PCs. <laughs> have you ever just it, done that? I have. I have. It's super fun because yeah. you're like, you I just, imagine you're like, this would be the most amazing computer or, ever. Or my favorite thing is setting a budget for yourself and trying to fit the budget. Unless it's Hardcastle's bu- original budget of $300, that was not fun. I did not enjoy that, even for one second. Yeah, didn't you do that with me and Aiden? Yeah, with both of you. Wasn't his original not budget, do it. like, $80? No, it was 300 and we could not get it below, like, 420 or something like that. Blaze it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but, no, but it- then, then he was like, uh, later when I talked to him, I was like, Listen, your computer's not going to be able to do anything for $300. And he's like, yeah, I've been thinking about it, and I'm going to need to bump it up to like 1000 or 1200 or something. Now, like $1,000 can get you and I'm a like, really And I'm like, that nice can get you computer. a, a pretty nice computer. And he's like, that, yeah. And so I'm like, My, let my me computer build you was 1000 Yeah, let me build you something. And he was like, okay. So now I just need to wait for him to pay off his credit card debt from college. Then he'll Dude, pay college me. is a bitch. You know, I did a research paper on why college is a scam. Yeah. And it makes so much sense. Yeah, no, like, the only reason why you need to go to college is if you're getting a law degree or a or, health degree. Yeah, or something in health. Because or, or uh, recently, the Ameri- recently America passed a law that takes that forces jobs or companies to take skill over uh, degree if it's like... 
uh, not a law degree or like a health degree. You know. Yeah. So like a doctor, you have to have a medical degree. Yeah. And yeah, that kind of stuff. But like you, it's it's dumb. Yeah. The, and I love the I love that law. Yeah, I love that law, and I like, feel I, as a video game developer, me. I only get a certificate from doing this these college courses, but yeah. um, I have the skills, so... Did you know that Google is doing courses right now, and they're pretty mm-hmm. cheap, but then, like, if you pass their course, you immediately get hired? Yeah. Yeah, but the problem is, is the course is incredibly difficult. Yeah. Like, incredibly. But, um... I was thinking about doing that, like, low-key. I'm like, even though I want to go into marine biology, working for Google would be pretty dope. Dude, I used to want to be a marine biologist. Yeah, I've always wanted to be one. I was never like, I want to be a firefighter. Actually, originally, if a teacher asked me what I wanted to be, I would say an assassin or a hitman for the (laughs) government. Because that still sounds dope, and I'll do it. Listen, FBI, CIA, hit me up. I'll be an assassin up. for you, you know? Yeah, me I'll up, kill man. some people. I'll you know, it. it would be I wouldn't mind being like a super soldier or something like that, you know? <laughs> Join the American Super Soldier program. Dude, that sounds fucking dope. It does. It's not, it's not, be like a freaking Captain America looking looking dude. Dude, I was reading a topic about what the um military released they released a document uh describing how like what Kind of, like, very briefly what they were planning on doing. Oh. And it sounded so dope. Yes. <laughs> I want. I want to join. Yes. And then I, like, spent the rest of the day trying to find a way how to volunteer. How but apparently they're not, they're not doing uh, human subjects right now, so. How to volunteer to be a super soldier. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, no, that sounds dope. But I feel like the people that need a degree are those going in to either teach college no. or going into, like, the sciences. But other than, they're like, and obviously the um, lawyers and, and uh, health specialists. But, because, like, the sciences, you need, you need a degree because it'll teach you. Or you may not need a degree, but you may need some, like, special program that would cost just about as much as a degree. (laughs) Yeah. But, yeah, so, like, me going in, wanting to go into marine biology with a minor, or major in marine biology with a minor in biotech engineering. Hey, uh, you want to, like, build me, like, another arm so I have three arms to jack off with? (laughs) (laughs) I don't think metal will feel very good on your, uh... That's why you, that's why you put, like, artificial skin and muscle on it. Mm. I actually, uh, I've been, or I used to do, like, a ton of research on how to, like, grow things artificially, and, uh, my first experiment ever was to hatch a baby chick without uh... an egg, like, in a, like a, I can't remember if it was, like, a cup or if I built something for it, and it worked. Yeah. For for a second. For and a second. After it was born, it died because it didn't have the proper nutrients that a baby chick needs from eating its shell. But, you know. Yeah, it's possible. It's, yeah, it's possible. possible. Yeah. Uh, I was just lacking in the shell department. Anyway, no, but I've done some pretty weird, weird experiments <laughs> in growing artificial things. But yeah, it'd be fun. Uh, my new favorite thing that uh, I've seen some scientists working on is like um, growing some skin or like a electronic layer of skin over your skin that can act as a screen and like a touchpad so that you can have your phone on your wrist without having the weird projector watch looking thing. And so it's like built into your skin. And... Uh, I've heard rumors that Elon Musk is building a chip for your brain that will electronically input music into your head. Yeah, I would never do that. And then I saw a meme of that where it had Sigma below it, and he was like, What is that melody? melody? 
Yeah. And in Elon it just had the picture and the article above with Elon Musk just laughing. And I'm like, guys, we could all turn into Sigma from from Overwatch. <laughs> what is that melody? You know, low key, I need a P. So high key, I'm gonna go P. High key go P. B R B. Are you still here? We are all good to go. <clears throat> We're all in this Just together. Oh my god. Anyway. Um what were we talking about? Oh, Elon Musk and the brain chip. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. Want me to give you a tarot card reading? Sure. I did I did one for Boyd. Uh, tarot card me, motherfucker. Uh, good God. <laughs> what? I'm asking you to tarot card me. Alright, give me a second. Alright. Alright, it is shuffled. Alright. Let's begin the tarot card. First, I place one, two... Three, put the deck here. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, the first card is a straight up sword of hearts. Three swords, actually. Three swords. It is a sword, three. Beautiful. The next card is the moon. Next cool. and final card. Moons are cool. Is an upside down three of wands. So, you might be wondering what these mean. Uh, yeah. yeah. Let me tell you, because it's been a very long time since I've done any tarot reading, and I need to pull up my app. Pretty sure your tarot card reading video, or the anecdotal video with Boyd showed up today. Yeah, it came out today. Yeah. Yeah. I literally am... The, the reason why I asked if you wanted to do this is to make sure that I had another anecdotal inquiry video coming out for at least next week. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we go. Now... The description is three swords piercing a heart with cloud with clouds and rain behind it. The that sound good. Divinatory meaning is removal, absence, delay, division, rupture, dispersion, and all that the design signifies naturally being too simple and obvious to call for specific enumeration <laughs> the additional meanings are looking for a woman or the fight for a lover so well I am looking for a woman you're not wrong yes so that is your past or something and um, when it is head up or face first it means um, correction, straight-mindedness, rule, and order. It can also mean sorrow, disappointment, tears, delay, absence, separation, divorce, disruption of friendships, interruption of cherished projects. But we're not going to get into that. Well, I am a sad boy. You're <laughs> a sad boy. Yes, yes, it is so true. The moon means intuition, subconsciousness, illusion, fear, insecurity, dream, instability, and an unclear path. This is your present time. So it says the moon is a sign that things are not what they seem. 
it is time to follow your intuition, pay attention to what is unseen and unsaid, and follow your instincts. The moon is also, it also signifies illusion and uncertainty. If you are waiting for some decision, the answer will be either delayed or uncertain. So, this can mean that either there are a lot of unknown things in your career or financial situation. It can mean um, that in love and relationships, you should trust your intuition and think of something that is probably not correct at the moment that may be correct later. If you are having health issues, it means that there's probably some health issues that you should be aware of. And if you, you know, I don't have any health issues. All right. Well, that's fine. Now, as for the upside down, the upside down three of wands. Let's check that out. The reversed three of wands means hope, desire, attempt, and wish. These things are your future, and the description is a calm, stately personage, personage with his back turned, looking from a cliff's edge at ships passing over the sea. Three staves are planted in the ground, and he leans slightly on one of them. The meaning is the end of troubles, suspicion of, cess of cessation of adversity or cessation of adversity, toil, and disappointment. Ill-dignified, meaning conceit, arrogance, and insolence. So, this means that sometime in your future, you'll find the end of your troubles. You will find the end of your adversities. And you will toil... Or you will find the end of your toils and disappointments. You tell me I'm going to die? No. For that, you would need the tower card. Which I believe Boyd got the tower card. Well, that's not good. Why did you tell me you got the tower card? Why did I? Because that's what <laughs> I'm <you got>. joking. <laughs> you know, it's kind of scary how accurate you got, like, some of that stuff. Yes, especially because I was making up a lot of it on the fly just based off of the meanings of the cards. It's still kind of scary. It's yes. scaring me. Yes. Well, it is all in time with revelation from the cards. <laughs> Not that I believe in tarot, but it's a fun food for thought. It also takes up a good five to ten minutes of a video, so... It helps me yes. get a longer video. <laughs> yeah, now, that was fun. That was fun. It was fun. That was very fun. Yes. It was so fun. So, hmm. Maybe when I get my PC, you, me, and Aiden, or me, maybe even just you and me, should hang out and we should build it together. Yes. Yes. And yes. I can make it into a video. You can! I could. Big and brain. because I would have a bigger computer, my editing software would work. And I can edit it. Yeah! Three cheers for Big me! Big brain. <laughs> Big brain. Big brain. Ow. <laughs> That's rude. Uh, well, let's see. I think my video with Boyd was like an hour or something long. <laughs> We've only been doing this for like 35 to 40 minutes. So, do you uh, ever think that you'll get your own merch? Me? My own merch? Yeah. No. No? <laughs> No. Uh, have you seen? Did you see my new merch? <laughs> no. No. Oh well, I have new merch. If you go to, where is it? Godly Decrees. You can click that link. That will take you to my merch page. It 
will show you all of my new merch. Shall we look at it? Yes, we shall. So we have all the anecdotal inquiry merch from this podcast. So, Vinny, if you ever want one of those, you know. Um, we have the Anoc Gaming hoodies. Then we have our Roll Beans merch. Yeah, Roll Beans! But we have new merch. We have two new things, and it is both Animal Crossing themed. We have Big Boy Tommy, in which he is telling people that if they want a house, they can either give him bells or their soul. Then we have Sexy Tommy, where it says, Give me your bells and I'll do whatever you want. Dot, dot, dot. Whatever you want. <laughs> well, sexy there. Hence the name Sexy Tommy. <laughs> uh, no, nah, but seriously, it's pretty dope. Dude, I got a new like on Tinder. Oh, my God. Wow. Look at you. Wait, look I thought I deleted me. Opera. Why does Discord still take me to Opera every time I click on a link? <laughs> oh, she's ugly. No offense to <laughs> most women out there. Women, a lot of women, I bet a lot of women have very beautiful personalities. <laughs> Probably just making this worse for me. Yeah. Let me stop talking. Yep, that's a good idea. Speaking of Tinder, yes. you found someone that we know on Tinder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I was legitimately going to DM her and be like, hey, someone found you that on picture. Tinder. <laughs> yeah, just be like, hey, I found you on Tinder. <laughs> Uh, do it. It'd be funny. Do it. Dude, or you said... I, I think Aiden would more likely do it. No, I'll do it. Oh, okay. Do it. Yeah, send me the picture on Instagram. I'll send it to her right now. I don't know if I deleted it or not. <laughs> I think it's in Discord if we didn't. I think it's in our personal messages that I can just go grab. Uh, uh, let's see. There's the cute girl that. Yeah, here it is. Found that. I found that. I downloaded it. Too late. Found <laughs> that. I got. No, I showed show that to you first. I downloaded. I. I. <laughs> now we go into my DMs. We type in her name. We click on here. We do here. And, uh, <laughs> we go here, we say, This is so sad. Alexa, play Despacito Tinder, 2. Comma. Lol. Send. <laughs> Alright, to show everyone proof that I did this, we're going to open up Google Chrome real quick. Scoot it over here so y'all can see it. All right, we're going to go to Instagram. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> we're going to go to my massages. Devin. Put it on the group chat. I want to see. <laughs> Found you on Tinder, lol. <laughs> oh, Vinny, you sent me. Watch as it's, she's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I sent, okay, if she says that, I'm going to be like, I literally sent you a screenshot. Here. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, what do you mean failed to send? It literally oh. showed up on my computer. As Big sent. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now she's going to think you're weird. Nope, nope, nope. There you go. I found it. All right, here. Uh, here, I'll I'll share it uh, in the main Discord, cause not our private messages. Uh, here, here, all right, here. Let's, let's go up here, general. There you go, my man. <laughs> Yeah, 
magic. <laughs> What'd she say? She hasn't said anything back. Oh. I'm wondering why you said magic then. Well, no, I sent it to the group chat because you asked me to. That's why I said magic. Oh. Anyway, though. <clears throat> yeah, no, but we got new merch and I'm excited. Uh, I was going to get you some for your birthday, but uh, something didn't go through properly. And so it never did any of that. But one of these days, probably after I get my new PC, I will get you and Aiden shirts for your birthdays. Do you wear tank tops? No. Okay, neither. I don't think Aiden does either. Well, he owns some, but he only wears them if he's like just waking up and he needs a shirt. <laughs> That's the only time I've seen him wear them anyway. Here, I'll share my screen and everything. Here, wait, let me pull up. Let me pull up the merch. All right, Vinny. What? So... I have my my thing up, right? Yep. Yeah. So I'm just gonna click here, go to merch. All right. Oh wait, no one can see it here. Wait, give me two seconds. I need to do my other screen. Uh, change window. There you go. All right, so. We have hoodies, mugs, shirts, uh, tank tops. So, the question is, Vinny, hmm. which kind of shirt would you like? Or which kind of item would you like? Would you like the Anecdotal Inquiry, my Anoc Gaming stuff, my new, my new merch, or the Roll Bean stuff? I assume Roll Beans, right? Yep. Roll beans. Hashtag roll beans for life. What size do you wear? Medium? Medium large. I'll get you a large. Maybe green. Uh, Kelly green. Yeah. See, and it's only $25. So I will get that. Uh, not, not today, because I can't afford it. But, eventually. Hmm. <clears throat> I think Boyd said that he wanted one of my regular Anoc gaming shirts. Then Aiden won't tell me what he wants. Then I'm obviously going to get whatever I want because it's my merch when I can afford it. Um, yeah, I'm really digging the Anecdotal Inquiry mug. It's, I'm digging it. It's looking dope. Can I, uh, your mug should say something like, can I ask you a question? No, nah, my mug just has my Anecdotal Inquiry logo that all my other merch, Anecdotal Inquiry merch has. It says Anecdotal Inquiry, and then it has a skull with like some like feather looking leaf things behind it, and then it, underneath it it says, a fun podcast. Because that's what it is, a fun podcast. Uh, well, are you excited for the new uh, NVIDIA GPUs? Dude, that's the next GPU I'm going to buy. Can your CPU handle it? Won't it create a bottleneck? No, because I have a Ryzen 7. Oh, okay. I thought you had a Ryzen 5 for some reason. Or is that what Aiden has? Uh, oh, wait, no. Uh, Aiden, Aiden has, has an i5. Yeah, Aiden has Intel. Ugh. Cringe. Ugh. Cringe. I'm actually going to make a video here pretty soon about why I hate Intel so much. <laughs> they keep scamming everyone. It's not nice. They're like the Apple of computers. Literally. 
You know, Apple stopped using Intel. <laughs> <laughs> that just shows how bad Intel is. If a horrible company yeah. like Apple goes, yeah, Intel, we don't want Intel, you. Intel started, um, uh, they started, uh, not Intel, Apple started making their own processors. Ah, uh, good for them. No, but my computer now is technically, well, not technically, it is Intel, but I didn't have a choice. Uh, cause this was given to me for free. So, but it's old enough, like, like Ryzen would have been like brand new, I believe when this came out. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I don't know what game to play. I don't know. Once we're done with the podcast, uh, I can play with you. Unless you don't want to play anything. Um, I don't know. I might play some more hunt Monster Hunter. I don't know. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, you know what you should invest in? And this is not sponsored, but you should get yourself some Raycons. Nord VPN. No, Raycons. <laughs> if you're going to use a VPN, don't pay for it. Use a free one. Come on. Let's be intelligent about this you don't need to pay for one unless nordvpn if you want to sponsor me go right ahead i'll tell people to pay for a vpn all day every day all day every day but no i love raycons uh my blue ones are really nice uh haven't lost them yet and my dad's like the second you get those raycons you're gonna lose them well did i lose them no i did not father Raycons, only 68 bucks because every other effing YouTuber has a 15% off code. So, <laughs> Raycon, listen, baby, if you want to sponsor me, I know I'm a little channel and I only get like two views per video. But if you want to sponsor me, I would be more than delighted to share my, what's the word? Little. But. Uh, peace of mind. I love me some red columns. Actually, no. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised I haven't, like, ruined these or broken these. Um, but, I mean, I do I do take good care of them. But You're very robotic, and I think that's just me. I, it might be. <laughs> anyway. Uh... Yeah. I think that 47 minutes is pretty good for a video, considering, boys in mind, we tried our hardest to stretch it out for as long as possible, which probably made it boring, but it ended up being like an hour and a half, so, I don't know. Uh, before I do my outro, Vinny, is there anything that you would like to say? Anything at all? Anything at all? I can say... <laughs> you left. Vinny, you back? Vinny! Vinny! Hey, yo! I'm just gonna pause the recording till you come back. Oh, that didn't take too long. Well, Vinny, hi. Do you want to say anything before we I'm end? I'm back. Do you want to say anything before we Hello. end? Uh, hi. Can you hear me? Vinny? Can you I hear can kind of hear you. You're, you keep cutting out. My wife is shitting right now. Okay. Say anything you want. Say goodbye, whatever. There is a monster in Monster Hunter World called Nigagante. Perfect. That's what we like to hear. Now. <laughs> Give me a second. Three. What? Uh, you, you, you were asking me a question a second ago. What was I asking you? You, you, you said, how was that? Yeah. And I said, what? It, and I said it was perfect. Now, 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 what, what, what did you say? Oh, I asked you, how was the, how was the statement that I said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said it was perfect. <laughs> then what did you say? I, I called you perfect. Oh, You're a good friend. You. You're a perfect friend. 
<laughs> it wasn't as awkward the first time when you were just like, you're perfect. And I was just like, okay. You're perfect. Oh, boy. All righty. Let's... How'd you like that one? Perfect. Now, I'm going to deafen myself to Fuck do my yeah. outro. <laughs> I will be right back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is another beautiful anecdotal inquiry. That is episode two. Dose. And um, I don't know who we'll have next time because I do it spontaneously. So, if y'all enjoyed the video, please drop a like, hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And uh, don't check out the merch. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm freaking saying. Go push them. Go get some merch. Merch is beautiful. Go get the merch. And I'm Anok from Anok Gaming. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.